Hey, Best of U.S. Agents, Kerry here. Uh, if you've been watching my YouTube channel, you know I've been talking a lot about uh, Amazon's entrance into the um, real estate business. And I want to talk to you today about what I think that's going to look like and hopefully give some guidance to the people at Amazon because uh, I am in the business and um, I think it needs to change and I think I understand how it's going to change. Currently, there are 86,000 real estate brokers in the real estate business in the United States right now. I said 86,000. I suspect within five years that number will be down below 1,000, might even be down below 100, because I think 80% of the homes are going to be sold by one real estate broker. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm 75 years old. I remember when things were a little bit different. I remember when you bought a car, when you drive it, drove it off the lot, it was yours. If anything went wrong with it within a half a mile or even with 100 feet of the dealership, it was yours. You paid for it. Uh, dealing with a, a car salesman was an adversarial relationship. If you went on a used car, you went in on any corner in the city and there was a used car lot. Again, if you bought the car and anything went wrong with it, you owned it. It was your problem. We all knew that they were liars and cheats and they would, they would hide things from you. Well, that both of those industries have changed. Just like when you went into a department store, you'd put on a pair of shoes and you'd walk out with them and then... Uh, two days later, if they didn't fit you and you didn't like them, they were yours. You, you, you didn't even get a refund. Well, that's all changed. Uh, I buy a BMW. I have a 36,000, no, a 48,000 mile drivetrain guarantee on it. The only thing I cha uh, um, charge for is the uh, windshield wipers and the tires. That's what's going to happen to the real estate industry. I believe it'll be Amazon, if it, and if you're not comfortable with it being Amazon and turnkey, let's call it Best of U.S. Homes. Best of U.S. Homes in the future will say to you, if you list your home with us, we will offer the buyer a guarantee on the home. If they don't like it within 60 days, we'll refund their money. If something goes wrong with it, you know, plumbing problems, heating problems in 90 days, we'll come out and fix it. Does that kind of sound like what happens with a car now? What CarMax offers you? You don't like it, you bring it back. We want to be your provider. If you watch anything on Amazon you'll, and, and watch any uh, videos from, with Jeff Bezos, he'll talk about the most important thing to us is the consumer's experience. We want them to be delighted with dealing with us. No one in the real estate business has that attitude. When I started in this business three years ago, I was shocked when I went to my uh, take my license or study for my license, the laissez-faire, let the buyer beware. Our agents are told not to disclose anything to the buyers that could come back and bite you. If something's wrong in the house, you don't want to know about it because then you might be liable. That's a way of the past. That's not how you do business in this world. So the door is open to someone like Amazon to come in and say, we will provide you with a wonderful experience. And if you don't like what you've bought, we'll either fix it or we'll refund your money. That's going to happen. They're also going to say to the buyer, we'll sell you an insurance policy that will guarantee you the price that you get for this house in five years, 10 years, or 30 years. It's only an insurance policy. It is possible, but the business is not consumer centric. The business is put as many agents out there as you can and collect fees from them, and we'll be your, the umbrella that you live under. 
It's a thing of the past. And the world is waking up to it. And part of the reason is Amazon's going to get, or Google's going to get into the business, not because they want to buy and sell houses, but because they want to make them smart homes. And they want them to be a pleasant experience. In the future, you will go to a web portal and you will tell the web portal what you're looking for, much as you went when you go to Zappo uh, or CarMax.com. Or, you tell them what you're looking for. You know what you want. They have the data, and they match you up, whether it's with a pair of shoes or with it's a, 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 a used car. The same thing can be done with homes. Zillow has all that information. It's all there. All you have to have is a form to fill out to say that you want a size 9, you want black, you want Nike, and you want Air Max. And they show you what's available at the price that it's available. There's no adversarial relationship. There's no, there's no well, you want $129 for them. I'll give you $119. No. That only happens in real estate now. So it's an unpleasant experience. You will not need a buyer's agent. The house will be priced, it'll be priced fairly, and you'll have your choices. And you either buy it or you don't, and then you get a guarantee with it. So, you're a seller. Do you want to work with a company that provides that kind of experience for buyers? Yeah, yeah, I think I do. Do you want to continue with the adversarial relationship of agents? Agents are trained to how to negotiate. What does that mean? That means get the house for as cheap as you can. Make it as uncomfortable as you can for the seller. Or... Get as much as you can for your house and make it as uncomfortable as you can for the buyer. <laughs> I, I, th I think that's passe. I think it's a thing of the past. Now, if you're an agent, do you think it, let, let's go back to the, the broker. The broker makes this available. The broker makes the website available. They gather all the leads. They give them to their agents, and then they share in the sales commission, much as they do now, maybe a 70, 30, and 80, 20. If the agent, on the other hand, goes out and generates that lead on his own, maybe he gets 90, 10. But he has an organization that generates the leads for him so he can be successful, or she, he builds, an, or she builds, a relationship with the people that they do business with. And then, because it's a smart home, he helps them manage their home. So he has a continuing relationship with that individual. And that continuing relationship builds continuing cash flow. So when that agent wants to retire, Amazon or Best of U.S. Homes is happy to buy their business from them happy to put somebody in their place to help pay for the purchase of the business. Real estate's the only business now where you work for nothing and hope to get something, but you pay your employer every month, you pay your, your MLS every month, and then you give a big portion of your earnings to the broker that you've been paying every month. It don't make any sense. It also doesn't make any sense that there's two million agents and 86,000 brokers. It doesn't make any sense. So, Jeff, if you're listening, Guarantee the product, just like you guarantee the product when I buy my 
shoes at Zappo or when I buy my ink cartridges or like I bought a printer and dumb me checked the wrong box and got a black and white printer got it here got it all set up tried to print with it wouldn't work I stuffed it back in the box taped it up sent it back and you sent me a new printer at no cost I wouldn't buy anything from anybody else so if you will create a real estate brokerage like that, there will only be one. And I think you can do it because you're not going to be dependent on the commissions and the profit you make off of selling the house. The bonanza is in the data you're going to get off. That's a $1 trillion business, conservatively. And being in the real estate business is just the conduit to get you there. So please, come on. Let's get at it. Let's get it done. And let's clean this mess up. Okay. That's my preach for the day. I'm anxious for it. I want to be a part of it. I, I was a part of changing the financial industry to where it's a assets under management, fees for service. I want to be a part of changing this industry too. Okay, join bestofusagents.com so Jeff knows who he should hire when he gets this all up and off the ground.